getting the love that you deserve out of, you know, your partner or your friends or whatever it is, that's not their fault. You got to give yourself that first. When you do what you do, I'm empowered. You give me a superpower. And hey, y'all. We talking spirituality, how spirituality has changed my life, who has maybe become meditation, self-love, all of that, all right? So if you're here for it, sit back, relax, grab a little sippy sip, a little drinky drink, a little smoker smoke, a little snacky snack. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whatever you need to do, let me stop playing and let's get into it. Y'all know I ain't gonna keep you too long, 10 to 15 minutes max. And this is a tough one because I could go on and on and on and on <laughs> about, about this, about spirituality and about, you know, these things that I'm gonna talk about because they're so powerful and have changed my life completely. So the first thing I wanna talk about is meditation. Meditation is what's sparked my spiritual journey y'all i had a rough time at work and i just was going through it i heard that yesterday i talked about you know hearing that voice in your head and listening to it it's what changed my life i heard that little voice in my head say just meditate you need to meditate and i was like what the fuck meditate i ain't never meditated a day in my life what the how the, how the hell do i even meditate gotta google and youtube how do you meditate and it changed my life completely. I've meditated for a little bit. I've meditated on and off, da da da. This past summer, um, I meditated almost every single day outside in nature and really got to connect to myself, which leads me into what it has done for me and what spirituality means for me is connecting to that oneness, connecting to source energy, connecting to, you know, that inner God that we all have. That's what I believe at least. Like I said, these last couple months where I meditated consistently and I made it a point and I dedicated myself to this spiritual journey, it changed my life because I'm now able to decipher, you know, the, the thoughts in my head. Like I'm able to observe them. I don't judge them. First started meditation. That was what I wanted. I wanted to be able to just watch my thoughts and allow them to leave and not have a negative or a positive you know idea of it so i think a big thing that i learned is that our programming we are programmed from a really young age obviously you know from your surroundings and everything like that so your programming has an effect on your thoughts and your thoughts then have an effect and create your feelings and your feelings then create your actions and your actions then create your results so i'm not going to go too deep in that i'm already into three minutes and i know this is about to take me a little bit so go ahead think about that think about what that means and how that can really truly affect your life and also we create our reality our thoughts our words you know our intentions they all create our reality so if you're in a shitty situation right now check yourself if you're in a shitty situation right now and you've been blaming joe schmo and joe schmo's cousin you're playing victim nobody likes a victim right so if you're in a shitty situation get Get yourself out of that situation. So that's for certain people. I don't know who needed to hear that, but get your shit together. I love you. You know, I, I mean that genuinely with love, but get your shit together. Is my shit all the way together? Hell no, it ain't all the way together. Bitch, I'm talking to myself too. <laughs> I still got shit I gotta work through myself, but I know you probably ain't got the person in your life that you need that needs to tell you, Get yourself together. Don't com stop complaining about your situation. Stop complaining about where you're at and do something about it. Change it. If you don't like where you're at, change that shit. Nobody else can do that but you. So let me not preach. Let me not, you know, trigger you. I apologize if I did, but I'm just trying to be real with you. So these past couple months, I've learned so much, literally just by meditating and being able to be conscious. And, you know, it taught me more about presence. When I initially started my spiritual journey again, I was really into the idea of presence and how presence truly is a gift. And we make future decisions in the present. So if you're not present, you are not going to necessarily make the best decisions for your future self. So I think that meditation and presence, I feel like they 
they go hand in hand for sure. Just that feeling when I meditate and I don't feel like anything else matters. Nothing else matters when I'm meditating. It's like you truly just, you know that everything is good, everything is safe in that moment. And it's just such a beautiful feeling. It's almost like a high that I just crave. That brings me into wanting to talk about, you know, get alone time, like start spending some time by yourself. Even if that, you know, I know people are busy and you know, you got children, you got, you know, significant others, you got parents, whatever it may be, but get some time for yourself. Even if it's five, 10 minutes, just take some time for yourself where you're not thinking about anything else. You're not thinking about anybody else where you can just connect with you. How are you feeling? What are you doing? What are you going through? You know, and it, not to the point where you're going to stress yourself out, but definitely to the point where, you know, solitude isn't necessarily a bad thing always you know sometimes when you are i've had those moments where i don't want to be around anybody and i just want to be in solitude and that can be detrimental but also i learned a lot in solitude a lot about myself a lot about just life in general so be comfortable with being alone and hanging out with yourself like my spiritual journey has taught me that, you know, I love my my life partner, I love my friends, family, but like I love me the most. And I think that I've really been able to tap into who I am and my greatness and what I'm meant to become because I've sat with myself. I realized my power, I realized who the fuck I am and I wouldn't be able to do that if I wouldn't have sat with myself and I wouldn't have, you know, gotten to learn who I am. Again, I'm gonna say it I'm damn near every video. Take what I say with a grain of salt. This is my journey. These are things that I'm learning. I could look back on these videos six years from now and be like, this bitch here, she ain't no shit. Knowing damn well, I don't know nothing. A man who knows something knows that he's doing nothing. And I know nothing. I know that I don't know shit. Okay, so just throw that out there. Just hear me out. This is just a little chat. I want y'all to drop in the comments, you know, how you're feeling, what's going on, what your thoughts are. Y'all know I love to hear it. I love to communicate with y'all. If you made it this far, drop an apple in the comments because I fuck with y'all. I love to see who fuck with me. I love to see it, man. I love to see it. But we had eight minutes now, y'all, and I'm not trying to take too much of your time. So let's get back on track. I want to end with this. My spiritual journey has also taught me to stop looking for happiness and love outside of yourself. There are still days, I told y'all, and I talk about them a little bit here and there, my life partner. At one point, you know, I think it was a codependency issue where it was like he was my sole source of happiness and if he wasn't there, I wasn't happy and just it, it's the whole thing. I'm sure we've all gone through it now at one point and you may not even have realized it. You know, a spirit, my spiritual journey has really taught me that like I love to hang out with myself. I love myself. I love to create my own happiness. I love to love on myself. I love the touch of my own body, like not even in a weird way, but like to really just like show my body appreciation and the love that it truly deserves and if you're not getting the love that you deserve out of you know your partner or your friends or whatever it is that's not their fault you got to give yourself that first and I think that my spiritual journey really hit that home like bitch you don't need nobody else but yourself everybody else is extra everybody else is a bonus so I just I preach self-love and self-healing and self-care because who else do you have at the end of the day it's just you. You are a spiritual, eternal being having a human experience. Now, when I first heard that, when I first started my spiritual journey, I understood it. But as time goes on and continues to go on, I'm truly learning what that means. So I want to end it on that because, you know, timing. No, we ain't going too fast, so I ain't going to hold you for too long. I appreciate you for being here. Again, drop an apple if you made it this far because I'm trying to see who really, truly fucks with me. This journey is a beautiful one, a spiritual journey. We'll talk more about spirituality, I'm sure, but I wanted to come on here and just have this little quick chat with you, you know. Um... It's a journey. It's a beautiful journey. It's a long journey. You're going to have ups. You're going to have downs. You're going to have moments where you're happy. You're sad. You're low, 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 low. You're high, 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 high. Like it's all in between. Don't rush your journey. 
Don't compare your journey to anybody else and learn to truly love you. Learn to love spending time with you. Learn to, you know, embrace who you are. Get to know who you are. I know it's hard to do. Well, if you tell yourself it's hard, it's going to be hard. But um, that was another thing my mentor, like, I would always be like, well, I need to not tell myself it's going to be hard because if I tell myself it's going to be hard, then it's going to be hard. So everything is simple until we make it complicated. Remember that and remember that you are not alone and you have my page, you have my TikTok, you have, you know, YouTube, you have people out there because I, one of the biggest things for me when I started my spiritual journey was I didn't have anybody to share it with. I didn't have anybody that else that was going through what I was going through. So if you are going through your spiritual journey, you're confused, you're sad, you're lonely, please contact me on social media because I get it and I want to eventually one day you know, have a community of people that are just, you know, sparking their spiritual journey or have it on their spiritual journey where we can come together and, you know, have conversation and things like that. But again, another story for another time. But I love you. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for growing with me. Have a beautiful day because you deserve it. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.